looking at? Oh, the dozer line you're looking at, it came about because we had a slop over off the original lines. So a couple days ago, uh, Jamie Schwartz, our division soup, we got together and see how we could put tie this off with another line. Because our next line is a long way over there. We figured we could save 640 acres if we had to burn it instead of, I don't know, 10,000 acres. And we came up with a plan, punched a dozer line into this knoll, and then we went around on another division and came down and tied them together down on the stream bottom. How many dozers did you have working up there on that line? Right on that line, I had 10 dozers coming down over it. First thing we had to do, we had to catch a, a little slop over, so we put three dozers on it right away because that was a safety concern. Because once we started out of the black, we didn't have any safety zones. So we tied off a little slop over behind us. And then I took three dozers ahead and we made a safety zone. That's one of them, the first one you can't see actually. And once we got that established, then the next dozers were coming down, cleaning out our line, and then they widened our safety zone so we had some place to go in case the fire blew up down in here because there was nobody on this slop over. They were working it with helicopters, but that was gonna come back and bite us if we didn't. And we'd work down you know, a couple hundred yards, put another safety zone, and the dozers would kept coming. And I'd keep bumping ahead with the lead dozers. And once we got down in here, we made the push for the, the stream, and it tied this section off, and we corralled this slop over. If it would have got out, we could have burned this whole section out. When you know, our big concern here was we were going in to a place with really no safety zones and a good escape route because crews wouldn't even go in there because there was no, there was an escape route downstream, but it's a long way to a safety zone. So the way we did it, uh, once we got out of black, tied everything behind us, our main concern was build safety zones as we went. So we could only have to run back 100 yards or 200 yards to get to a safety zone. That was our biggest concern. And the next, usually a dozer boss kind of flags line and head, but this territory was so thick and with rolling rocks, because we were pushing constantly downhill, kind of dozer boss stood behind and we made sure the dozers kept looking back at us. If something went wrong, we could get the people back in there. And just general safety, you know, where the dozer, because usually your dozer operators are contract. They're not firefighters to begin with. So you have to give them direction. If something happens over here, we're gonna run to the black on this section. And if something blows up, I give you the word, we're going to this safety zone. Kind of like every section of line would reaffirm where we had to go if something went wrong. Before we got started, we, we had the 10 dozers and we kind of split them up, which three were gonna go first to bus line and the other ones kind of cleaning up behind us and making sure you know, we had good lines. And we communicate, okay, uh, like when I got to the first safety zone, they wrapped up the slop over Doug told me that and I started on the first safety zone below it. And I told him, you know, I got it done. And then they started pushing down and the cleanup dozers started coming down behind them. And we kept spaced out. They'd work on a safety zone, I'd punch line, start another safety zone. They'd have this one done, then they'd come down, prove line, then I'd just keep bumping down. So we all, everybody always had a safe spot to go back to. Just right at the bottom, punching into the stream, we had a real steep bank, but I had two good operators with me. I, it comes to a point, it's the operator's decision. I could tell them general direction I want to go, but it, if the operator isn't safe with it, you know, I'm not going to force anybody to do it. And they said, yeah, we can do this. And, you know, they went down some real steep stuff for a little short place. And we were afraid they couldn't get back up. I knew I could get back up this side, but I would have to cross the stream in that but we didn't want to do that. We stopped short of the stream, so we didn't destroy anything. And we, dozers made it back up though, so we didn't have to destroy anything down in the bottom. Well, I think the 10 and 18, they need drummed in your head, because that's what you're living by out here. And that's what happened here too, because we wouldn't go direct. The 18 and 10, they wouldn't let us go in there. Or we could have got somebody in real trouble, because it did keep flaring up. And I think that's a good idea, you know, just keep on that. And we, on this fire, 
uh, we've been trying by 10 o'clock to go over with our, you know, my dozers or the dozer bosses, and the crews are trying to do it by 10 o'clock every day. Get everything in place. Yeah. 